Today in the news, Intel has some pretty huge plans for their CPUs and the heat is on with Nvidia. What's up guys, I'm Snows and this is your boot sequence. Before that, let me give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, WhoKeys. WhoKeys is where you can buy keys like this one for Windows 10 Pro. Get yourself a license with that link down in the description and click buy now and enter the code BTS25 for 25% off. And then you just submit your order. And once you're through with your payment and you receive your key, go to your computer, click on the Windows button, type in activate and update or change your product key. It's that simple. Let's get started with Intel. It looks like the company has pretty big plans for their laptop chips, or at least they had pretty big plans for a while. I'll explain that in a moment. So the company recently gave us some insight into the future of their CPUs. After Alder Lake comes Raptor Lake, which is then followed by Meteor Lake, that's the 14th generation. And after Meteor Lake comes Arrow Lake, which is the 15th generation. Now compared to Alder and Raptor Lake, Intel is taking a new approach to their CPUs. CPU design for Meteor Lake and Arrow Lake. Instead of one solid CPU die that includes the I.O. and the integrated graphics, the company is splitting them into what they call tiles. Now, you might think, well, tiles, that sounds familiar, like Intel is copying AMD's chiplets. Well, yes and no. It's the same concept when you look at it broadly, but it's actually pretty different. It's why their tiles look like this and AMD's chiplets look like this. Intel is using their EMIB technology for their processors instead of just connecting them through the substrate. Basically, it's a tiny piece of silicon that bridges two chips side by side. According to Intel, it is a simpler design. It also mostly saves them money. Anyways, enough about the uh, interconnect lesson. Let's talk Arrow Lake, the 15th generation of CPUs. Well, fellow YouTuber and leaker Jim from Adored TV just shared a slide from Intel and wow, Wow, do they have ambition. This is the slide in question and it's for the Arrow Lake P683. The 683 here refers to six performance cores, eight efficient cores, and GT3 graphics. The halo mentioned here is probably because it will be the focus of Arrow Lake. This CPU would have Lion Cove big cores with Skymont as their little cores. Now, the impressive thing here on the slide is how massive they plan on building their integrated graphics. GT3, or at least that's the name on that slide, uh, it's probably gonna be Battle Mage B something. Well, it will allegedly have up to 320 execution units. That's almost three and a half times the amount of uh, execution units currently on Alder Lake's top end laptop chip. Heck, the GT3 might even have more than 320 EUs by the time it's released. Right here, it says that if they wanted to make it bigger than 80 millimeters squared, that's for 320 EUs, they would have to just reassess the wafer requests from TSMC. And those 320 execution units are going to be on the next generation architecture. So we're potentially looking at current desktop class performance in an IGP. That's insane. Now, that's obviously a lot of cores for an IGP, and it's probably because Intel is taking the AMD route here and trying to push Nvidia out of the low to mid-end GPU market for laptops. Now, there's something that you might notice on that slide. The CPU is supposedly being manufactured entirely by TSMC. You can see mentions of their N3 process here and here, but Intel recently released this slide showing two processes coming from Intel for that specific generation. Well, it's probably because they might have changed their mind. According to Jim from Adored TV, he received this slide about eight to nine months ago, and he's been keeping it to himself for an extra couple of months. So Intel's situation might have changed. In any case, with AMD now having their 680M, and if Intel comes out with this 320 EU IGP in a couple of years, we might finally say goodbye to the likes of the MX450 or whatever. The only downside I see on this uh, slide when it comes to Arrow Lake is the fact that the focus won't be on the desktop market. It says here, Arrow Lake Halo, so the mobile chip, is a priority over Alder Lake S, and the S line of CPUs is for desktops. So yeah, what do you guys think about all this? Let me know down below. Anyways, moving on, let's talk NVIDIA. So Twitter leaker, Graymon55, recently tweeted this. Lovelace will be in September. 
And also, I am not clear at the moment whether one model has three TGP ranges or whether it has three models, but the TGP number of the AD102 is 450 watts, 650 watts, and 850 watts. Of course, this is not the final specification and there may be some deviation. So let's look at what we've heard so far. The flagship GPUs for the next generation will definitely be power hogs. And when we've been hearing 450 watts for AMD uh, GPUs and around 500 plus watts for Nvidia for a long time. So the first 450 watt and 650 watt figures, well, they're kind of believable. But that 850 watts, yeah, no at least not for the usual consumer market. We've seen a 350 watt running at over 500 watts easy when Jay's Two Cents did a video testing New World, the Amazon game that killed some GPUs, but that was with a special 900 watt BIOS. Now, could there be a special 850 watt BIOS for the next generation? Sure, and that's what I think we're seeing. Internal testing at these wattage levels. I could be wrong, but if an 850 watt GPU really surfaces, well, it's ripped for power supplies. I mean, at that point, I don't even know if a regular 15 amp outlet would support a top of the line setup. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment if you want to talk about how my voice is uh, going out. Uh, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Come back. Uh, it's alright, it's all good.